Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. All who are thirsty, come to the waters, says the Lord. Though you have no money, come and drink with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. All who are thirsty, come to the waters, says the Lord. Though you have no money, come and drink with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of a Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. In the midst of the vision I received from the Lord, the angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple. There, the water was flowing from below the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east. And the water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar. Then the angel brought me out by way of the north gate and led me around on the outside to the outer gate that faces toward the east. And the water was coming out on the south side. 
going on eastward with a cord in his hand. The man measured 1,000 cubits and then led me through the water, and it was ankle deep. Again, he measured 1,000 and led me through the water, and it was knee deep. Again, he measured 1,000 and led me through the water, and it was up to the waist. Again, he measured 1,000, and it was a river that I could not cross, for the water had risen. It was deep enough to swim in, a river that could not be crossed. He said to me, Mortal, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I came back, I saw on the bank of the river a great many trees on the one side and on the other. He said to me, This water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the Arabah. And when it enters the sea, the sea of stagnant waters, the water will become fresh. Wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live, and there will be very many fish, once these waters reach there, it will become fresh, and everything will live where the river goes. On the banks on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month, because the water for them flows from the sanctuary, their fruit will be for food and their leaves for healing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, The mighty Lord is our refuge. The mighty Lord is our refuge. God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in their heart of the sea. The mighty Lord is our refuge. There is a river whose streams made glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The mighty Lord is our refuge. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what awesome things he has brought on the earth. The mighty Lord is our refuge. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool, called in Hebrew Bethsaida, which has five porticles. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, Jesus said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat, and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. 
but he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take it up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Every time I hear or read about the prophecy of Ezekiel concerning the water that flows from the temple of God that waters the earth, I'm always brought back to the time when I visited Quito, Ecuador, several years ago. My brother brought me to what is believed to be uh, the um, zero latitude and uh, where you can actually stand with one of your legs on the north and the south of that latitude. And, um, and then I noticed that there was a line from that zero. And when I followed that line, it led me to a chapel. And that line did not stop at the door of that chapel. It went in. And I continued to follow the line. And I noticed that the line went directly underneath the altar where the Mass is celebrated. And then it also goes up to the wall just behind the altar where there is the statue of the Sacred Heart where Jesus is pointing His finger right into His heart. And the line goes directly to the heart of Christ. The Ecuadorians are very deeply religious people and they wanted to connect the line to the heart of Christ and from the heart of Christ to the rest of the world. I think this is what the prophecy of, Ise of Ezekiel is trying to convey also to us today, that the love of Christ flows where the love of God flows from the temple to wherever it goes, that love is manifested. We pray in this Holy Mass that we may experience that love of Christ in our lives even as we face this pandemic together. Let us present our needs to the Father. Let us be confident that God is always attentive to the prayers of His children. For the ministers of the altar, that as they channel the life-giving waters of the sacraments into our hearts, they themselves may be refreshed and healed by their contact with this saving stream. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace, that the salt sea of embittered nations and peoples may be sweetened and made fresh by God's grace and the loving forgiveness 
of Christian hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That the free-flowing presence of grace in our lives may be the cause of our growth and thanksgiving at all times, but especially during this holy season of Lent. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the sick and those paralyzed by addiction and poverty, who wait for a helping hand, that in the person of his followers, Jesus may again show the mastery of his loving power in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our beloved dead may be freed from any impurity that still clings to them, and be made ready to appear with joy before the face of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In the silence of our hearts, let us also include our personal intentions. Gracious God, you are always attentive to the cries of your children. We bring our petitions before you, not only for our needs, but also for the needs of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as Creator, for these are mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts. 
that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise to you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Vic Peña, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Bequita and Magdalene, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by these your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. What has passed our lips as food, O Lord? May we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity.
the Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters, he leads me. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come through Christ our Lord. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and, and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who plead for your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you do we come, and before you we stand sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petition, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Amen. Our Lady of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. St. Gabriel, pray for us. St. Raphael, pray for us. St. Josephine Vaquita, pray for us. St. Magdalene of Canossa, pray for us. St. Anthony of Padua, pray for us. St. Therese of the Child Jesus, pray for us. St. Padre Pio, pray for us. St. Pius X, pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels, pray for us. All you saints and martyrs of God, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you and remain with you always the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go to love God and serve one another.